and welcome to my review of this uh, B2021 ruggedized foam with an 8000 milliamp hour battery. Um, it's uh, quite good and it does lots of things and one of the things I often use a foam for is navigation and you can see here uh, from the map and the video that it's following me as I'm walking up the road and uh, yeah, just looking around to show the uh, same thing on the map as on, on, the, on the video. And uh, another thing that uh, I often do with phones is pair them with other devices. And here is me pairing this particular phone with a set of uh, earbuds. Um, I was just wanting to uh, see how much difference it made to the sound. Now the sound on this phone isn't too bad, but with the earbuds it is, of course, as you would expect, absolutely superb. I've also had this phone paired with my car Bluetooth, and it sounds great with that as well. Um, I've used it for phone calls, it's good for phone calls, uh, and um, really everything I've tried with it is great as an e-reader. It is a bit heavy because of the size of the battery, but you get what you get. What you so just a quick look at the phone after the F150 button's been pressed. You'll notice that some of the applications were outlined in orange, and then there's this panel of useful tools here that's got things like a timer and um, a thing for making voices, a compass, a protractor, all sorts of stuff which could be quite useful uh, out in the wilderness, including a full screen clock uh, and a uh, spirit level and so on. So uh, quite an interesting idea. Uh, these are all in the uh, little toolbox uh, applet which is provided with the phone. And the torch, I have to say, on this phone is absolutely excellent. It's got a massive LED array and gives good space light. It'd be great for use in a tent. So here's just a few photo samples. This one taken with the macro lens uh, in not terribly brilliant light. The same with this one. Uh, this isn't the macro lens, this is the normal lens, of course. And then just a photograph looking up at the sky to show how well it handles contrast between bright and dark and to show that it wasn't a very bright. Check that all my uh, <coughs> covers are properly in place. Now let's see how we get on with this phone. And with all So quite a lot of noise in the pond. I think it might be uh, something to do with the way the microphone works underwater. But you saw the fish and everything, so that's quite useful. You can film underwater with it. It's bumblebee on my comfrey plant. I'm off to look for anything else now. Step back in time. This is me unwrapping the phone. This is the charger plug, which is supplied separately because the UK charger plugs have to be bigger. They don't fit inside the box, so they do sometimes come separately. It's one of those ones that folds up. So here is the phone itself. I needed to strip off the uh, cellophane plastic to get into it. That's to keep it nice and clean. So you know you're getting a new phone when it arrives. Uh, the box is a bit stiff, as you'd expect with a new phone and it comes with various bits and pieces of paper. Here's the phone itself wrapped in one of these low density polythene bags to keep it nice and clean. And uh, it's uh, really quite nice phone. It's quite big and heavy because it's got an 8,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, but uh, yeah, there it is, it's a, it's a nice phone. And there's the instruction leaflet. Uh, the typeface is reasonably large. It's reasonably easy to read. There's not a lot in the instruction book as you would expect with an Android phone. It just works the normal way. And there's various other bits and pieces of bump in there. And here is the charging lead, which is an A to micro B. So taking a quick look at the SIM pin there. And here is the phone. As you look up the side, there's the fingerprint sensor, the on and off button, and the volume control buttons on that side. At the bottom here is a little loop, uh, which you can put a lanyard through there, the camera arrays. And then on this side, you've got the uh, smart button and the uh, cover for the SIM tray, which you can get out with a pin. There's two SIMs and a TF card can go in that tray at the same time. And then at the bottom here, there's a cover which covers both the charging lead and the three mil jack. Uh, if you're using it in an environment where it might get wet, you're going to want to use Bluetooth things because you're not going to want to have the cover off. So there's a photo of the back showing the phones and the uh, LED turned off. And here's the LED turned on. It actually gives quite a good space light, so it'd be great for keeping the inside of your tent light at night. Uh, here is the uh, SIM tray, it's a little a recess there for you to put the hook in to pull the SIM tray out. And here's the cover over the charging port and the 3 mil jack port for audio. And uh, there is a picture of the stuff in the case that comes with the phone.